air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm bringing you a reading today. Most of my readings are not date or time specific, but this one is a little bit because I'm doing a reading um, for the collective for the 1111 portal, which is followed immediately by the full moon in Taurus. And there are a lot of important things happening, celestially speaking. So I thought I would speak to that directly while I'm shuffling here. And it's good information for you to have if you're at all interested. I mean, if you're here watching, then it's probably something that would fascinate you too. So anyway, on October 31st, as you know, we had Mercury stationed retrograde. It's been a rough one for me. It never usually is, but it, it has been this time around, technologically speaking. Um, but retrogrades are about reviewing things from the past, like taking, like re-evaluating from the past, um, from the last retrograde to this one. So it sort of drags us back a little. We're always in a, in a phase of reevaluating, that's normal. Um, but it feels to me like this one <clears throat> is super powerful because um, within this review period, we're also in the period of the void from October 31st to December 31st. I know that sounds kind of awful, the void, um, but it's not because it's um, a lot of intense transformational energies during the void. It's like we're prepping for the rebirth and renewal of the new year. And in this case, we're doing so for a new decade. Moving into the 2020s, it's a big deal. So anyway, we're going within during this void as well as the retrograde. So it's sort of double reviewing. Um, where we, and I'm looking at notes just, in, you know, so I don't miss anything. So we're reflecting, reviewing, rethinking, and releasing old ways of thinking and being. And that's preparing us for that new year and this new decade. The 1111 portal um, is one of psychic power and abundance, and it's one of the most powerful days of the year in terms of manifesting and abundance and prosperity. So you want to pay attention to that. But it's the number 11 itself, it, when you see it, you know, just no, it's a sacred number, it's a master number, it doesn't get reduced, and it usually signifies creativity and connection via your intuition to higher dimensions let's just say it that way so when you see it doubled like when you see on the clock 11 11 that's a sign that you're you know it's a synchronicity um, that you're on the right path spiritually intuitively creatively okay it's a confirmation of that so when you see it in the year and it comes once a year that's why it's okay if you're watching this on 11 11 2020 it doesn't matter the year it's like a quantum up leveling of our consciousness and it's um, as the, the double, the 1111, it's now a divine connection and co-creativity with source. So I love that it's co-creativity because it means that now you're open to receiving the downloads, the messages, the information, whatever you find here on this channel or on YouTube with other readers or um, astrologers or, you know, any spiritual, you know, um, Sources of spiritual wisdom that speak to you could be books, could be, you know, um, a podcast, you know, anything that really talks to you, speaks directly to your soul. You want to double down on it, pay attention to it, because it's now you're in this co-creative energy and you're receiving and open to all the messages. And it, it's a portal that sets the tone for what the tone for the new decade. So... Get into reflection mode. <laughs> it's also followed by the full moon in Taurus, which is grounded abundance. So now we have abundance in this 1111 portal and prosperity. And now we have the full moon in exalted in the sign of Taurus, which all that means is it's happiest there. Okay. And it's so it's amplifying the 1111 and it's all about the abundance being grounded. So now it's we, we yank it back down a little bit to the 3D, Taurus being an earth sign. Anyway, all that brings me to say is enjoy it. Um, be really, really meditative about it. Journal about it. Whatever, you know, light candles, cast spells, <laughs> read cards, do whatever works for you, but do it um, and trust it. Okay, so I'm going to read a, an oracle card here from the Energy Oracle. 
This is sort of the overarching energy of your reading. Air sign. Let's go. Oh, interesting. Now, it's card number 19. 1 and 9 is 10, so it drops back to a 1. It says rest and rejuvenation. But it was in reverse. So let's see what the reversed message has for you in this card. Let's make sure. Okay. When the rest card is reversed, it can portend a time of bustling activity and seemingly unending business. You may be required to take more action concerning a project or situation. What was I just talking about? Allow yourself to do what's needed, but always remember to schedule some leisure time for yourself. When you hurry through life without a break, it fragments your energy and creates an abrasive life force, causing potential frustration in all sorts of ways. Be careful not to let endless tasks take you away from yourself. The have to items on your list may be calling you, but this card reversed is telling you, take the time to meditate, rest, and relax. We just said we're in a meditative time here. Um, I make re relaxation a part of my daily life. Peace and quiet brings me clarity and joy. So that's a nice overarching energy. And it's sort of, I love that he's in that, you know, lotus position meditating and the energy of, of the divine is swirling around him. And that's sort of what I was trying to say. A lot of swirling energies of transformation right now. And whenever we're in a state of transformation, whether by design or by, by uh, you know, destiny, um, we do need to reflect. We do need to go within. So that's part of this whole portal and uh, full moon. Um, this reading will be for the collective of air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'll tell you my intention for how I'm laying out the cards, but if you feel free to reverse the characters. That's not a problem. Just don't force the reading to fit. There, are, uh, I've, I'm doing uploading all the videos for um, all the elements. So whatever personal planets you have, there might be another video. If this one doesn't fit, watch one of the other ones or check out all the other fabulous readers on YouTube. Okay, you have lots and lots of choices. I'm gonna cut this deck into three. Okay, and I will do an extended reading, and the link for that will be below. If this reading does resonate, the title spoke to you, and you're, like, you're in it. You're just like, yep, she's talking to me. Okay, so what is underneath? Boom, Ace of Wands. That's brand new vital force energy creativity coming in for you, Air Sign. That's what's underlying this entire reading. This is new passion. This could be a new passion project. This could be a new passion. Passion. And I do, my readings are mostly about relationships, um, ro romance, uh, um, soulmate, twin flame. So that's the general flavor, but what comes through, comes through. Now this top row, in my intention is it's the other person. And right now I see seven of cups, two of wands, six of pentacles. So we have water, fire, and earth here. Could be dealing with a fire sign because we have this ace of wands that would be aries leo sagittarius now in your row here air sign we've got the death card that is transformation don't let it scare you the sun is coming up behind all the doom and gloom but it is transformation and we're in that trans transformational period right now here's seven of wands you're resisting the transformation right now and king of wands all right so press in the that in the future that that might be what I'm talking about. There may be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius on the path for you here or that you're dealing with. This row here is the connection, Knight of Cups, water. This is um, some, some, this was an emotional connection. Might be somebody you're dealing with now or someone from your past because there is transformation here. Present Ace of Cups. Beautiful, beautiful, and magician coming up in the near future for this connection is being manifested. So if this is someone you know that 
you you're dealing with now or you're in separation from um there's a new level of passion coming in if this is if you're like I, i'm single i've got no one on my horizon yeah you do there's somebody there's something brand new coming in for you um, but when I see the Ace of Wands, it doesn't necessarily mean a new person. It can be a new level of the connection. And with this, it's, it's energy, it's passion, it's action taking, it's creative force. So that's really good. But this, whoever this person is up here, and remember, you're free to flip the characters, but I'm just going to talk like it's the other person. They um, just went through a period of overwhelm. There, you know, a lot of options, choices had to be made, and it caused them some emotional frustration, some emotional sense of overwhelm. Um, and uh, so, right now, they're making they're they're making a choice. They there's the two of wands. This is you know looking down the road and deciding which path I'm going to take. Which path will bring me that which I seek. Okay, so this is the beginning of the action. This was the questioning phase. This was the, oh my gosh, I have all these options. Which one do I pick? This one is, I'm down to two. So if this is with regard, um, if you know, you're wondering if they're going to choose you, what I can say that's coming up for them in the future is there's gonna be balance here for them. They're, they're just right now choosing just making a decision about their future and it's going to bring a state of balance which is really great because after all that crazy you know overwhelm anxiety kind of frenetic energy emotionally they're going to come back into balance and when they are balanced then then the action then the creative energy can kick into gear does that make sense you have to sort of get get your sea legs before you can run and here for you, we have this transformation energy in the past uh, for you, air sign. And it, it feels like there's some resistance here with the seven of wands that I, I'm, I'm a little confused because the transformation energy is in the past. And I feel like you're still resisting the transformation I think you're resisting the outcome and in this king of wands which is in your future if it's related to this ace of wands here then what that means is you have to be open to this person having evolved you've done your work and you may be resisting the outcome of that if you're in separation. But what the future holds is something higher vibration. And if it's if I'm right, if you're dealing with a fire sign, it doesn't have to be, but it could be somebody with a lot of fire in their chart. It could be somebody that is just in that action phase um, and drawing a lot of fire energy. And with that description, you would know who I'm talking about. And if they're coming at you, they are coming at you as the king. They are coming at you more evolved. They're not a page. They're, you know, and here we have the ace. So we have the ace and the king. And now we have a knight of cups in the past. So this was, um, this was a love, this is a love connection. Presently, it's your ace of cups. We have the ace of wands and the ace of cups here. Now, the conflict here is water puts out fire, right? So we have to be careful with that. They were not right next to each other, but I feel like what this is trying to tell you is underneath their smoldering passion here in this connection. But what's coming forward, see the Knight of Cups coming forward with this Ace of Cups, which means we're coming from our heart, we're coming from love. This is a new, a new um, expression of the love of this connection in the present. But don't be deceived. There's a whole lot of fire under here. And you're manifesting this. That's what's being created for this connection. You have all the tools 
Both of you together and separately have all the tools you need to bring about this Ace of Cups, to, to, to manifest um, whatever it is you seek in this connection. And there's a lot of energy underneath it, hold, supporting all of this, keeping, keeping all the balls in the air while you're trying to figure it out. Okay, let me do a little bit of clarifying. Then in the extended, here's what I'm going to cover. I'm going to cover the advice for this connection. Speaking to whoever's watching, okay, whether it's you, air sign, or um, a cross watcher. This next card will be strengths, challenges, or blocks to this connection. And up here will be the outcome. And then I will more fully clarify the entire spread. If there's a timing card, like when might we manifest this? <laughs> it would come out in the outcome position. That's my, that's my timing card, okay? All right, let's see what we're dealing with here. What's the Seven of Cups? What was all the confusion? What's the Seven of, why is the Seven of Cups here for this other person? All right, hangman, um, indecision, uh, unable to sort of move forward. Uh, so that caused a lot of overwhelm, waiting for some enlightenment, see what's two of wands here they're sort of making this decision now about a queen of pentacles okay queen of pentacles so they're making a decision to move toward stability oh my gosh can't pick that card up to move toward stability one more please the wheel of fortune is going to move it forward here's the thing They've been in, in the past, there was this overwhelm and this um, hangman energy of being stuck and, in, and indecisive and sort of just waiting for a sign. And while they're in this energy of making a decision that's going to best serve their stability, you know, queen of pentacles energy, high vibration, um, manifester, stable, self-sufficient. People come to her for advice. I say her because it's a queen, but the energy here is this person's trying to decide. And this may be, this may be your energy, even though it's earth, it may be you, air sign, if you're coming through as more grounded. If you're the one that's like, yeah, no, I, 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 this is all nice and good, but I want, I want your heart not just your loins. I said it. But what's happening now is the Wheel of Fortune is coming in to move it forward. So that's sort of fate. Destiny is, is at the wheel, literally at the wheel here. And so I feel that that's what's going to help balance this person out, is that all the decision-making is going to kind of be out of their hands in a way. And they like that. That, that stabilizes them. So why is the transformation? What's the transformation about? <laughs> well, okay. So Spirit's telling me creative, passionate, vital force energy coming in, transformation in your recent past to allow in this new creative. See, Asa wants twice in your lineup here. So transformation is about new creative energy, being open to that possibility. This is a spark. This is a new spark. It could be a whole new person. It could be a whole new person. And this person up here is making a decision to move forward in the way that is feels you know most nurturing and stable to them and it's had them in their up in their head and now the wheel destiny is bringing them toward you and it's going to be balanced it's going to serve them well if this is a fire sign great but it could also be an earth sign and that's why maybe this pentacles came out here the queen it could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn who's really in need of this stability after having this sort of watery energy, okay? Because um, hanged man is Pisces, so now we have Pisces who could be dealing with a Pisces. Wheel of Fortune is Sagittarius, that's more fire. So it could be a fire, water, earth that you're dealing with, but the energy that's underneath the whole thing and what you've, your transformation has been about 
is this passion, is this spark. What's the resistance about? Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Oh. Two of Swords. Yep. You're defending. Here's what you're resisting. You're resisting making a choice of how to move forward. You're, the path is not clear. You're at a crossroads. Which way do I go? How am I going to move forward? And um, the King of Wands in the future kind of tells me there's something powerful. It's the fire energy that's coming through for you here. Air sign. I mean, this is you in your air mode. That's you. But this King of Wands, Five of Wands, there's um, conflict and Six of Swords moving to smoother water. So it's possible that what's on the horizon is a challenge from someone who, um, or within yourself. But the energy is that of... A, of um, Someone who's very self-assured, the energy, I'm talking about the energy, self-assured, action taking, you know, suffering no fools, um, claiming what you want. And that's bringing up some conflict. And I think it's inner conflict. This is usually the five of ones is usually conflict coming at you from, from outside sources. But I feel like this is an inner battle because next is moving to smoother waters, six of swords. But so this inner conflict, because we have your resistance here already, that's fire, right? We have this inner resistance to all this new passion, to this new spark. This new, you have, there is resistance here on your part, air sign, if I have the players right, if I have the characters right. And in the future, it's gonna be like, yeah, this is what I want. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. <laughs> Until you finally settle your mind and move out of all the chaos. And I feel like I'm really describing air energy here. Like I know Gemini's Libras. I know, I know Aquarian energy can sometimes be, yes, I will. No, I won't. What will I do? I don't know. A um, lot of mental, all the plates in the air is sort of how it feels. And that's what this reminds me of. If you just put two plates spinning on ends, ends of the swords, that's a perfect card for air signs. Um, weighing all the options, okay? And now in this connection, I'll just, I'll just take a look at this um, magician. Just a little hint at what might come in the, um, in the extended. What's the magician? Oh, tower. Yes. Okay. I like that. Oh my gosh. This extended reading is going to be intense. Now, this is super powerful because we have major arcana on top of major arcana and the magician and the tower together means what you're manifesting is an end, a total end and obliteration of the old to make way for the new, knocking out what what part of the foundation is crumbling and isn't solid and stable because it feels like that's what you want. You want solid, stable. So does this person that you're dealing with. They want that six of pentacles balance, right? They're all about give me calm, give me balance, give me even Steven kind of energy. But I feel like here, if we're manifesting this ace of cups and we've got the conflict in that, you know, heart over pleasures of the flesh, so to speak, what's manifesting, what the magician is conjuring in this connection is, is knocking out a crumbling foundation to make way for something solid and stable. The tower is representing knocking out the old to clear the path for something new. The death card is transformation. That's with, that's internal. This is very much 3D and it's happening now. It's even though this is a card in the present, you may be feeling this energy now because the tower is about now and it's on top of the, what's coming in the future, but you're feeling the rumblings of it now. That's what this conflict card is about. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, air sign. I'm really, really excited.
I feel like with all this energy and internal and external conflict, um, and it and it doesn't feel like bad. Like I'm not feeling fights here. I don't feel anger here. I feel a shift. I feel resistance on your part to the shift and possibly born out of not knowing for sure which path is, is the best path for you. But it's all, it's all gonna happen. We got the Wheel of Fortune, Magician, the Tower, the changes are gonna come through. That is what can feel unsettling. That's where the conflict lies. That's why you need to take deep breaths, do your meditative practice. Be sure you don't overwork your brain here, air sign. I know you. Take time, deep breaths. Write it out if you have to. Speak it into a voice recorder if you have to, a, you know, to sort of get your ideas out of your head so your whole body can drop in and anchor and relax. Big changes coming for you, air sign, in this 1111 portal. And the Taurus new moon, should, uh, full moon, should find you feeling very grounded and abundant. I hope you'll join me in the extended, the link's below. If not, I'll see you on a future video. Bye.